Yeah, the University of Kansas Hospital, a level one trauma hospital, always open for people with bad accidents. An Army Ranger ended up here after a home improvement project. This is what I built. In his remodeled basement, Steve Pellegrin can clearly see by myself what went wrong as he finished cutting his baseboards with a saw more than two years ago. When I tell people, well, what'd you do to your hand? Well, I cut it off. Well, how bad you cut it? I cut it off. Well, was it very deep? Okay, this is the picture. <laughs> wow! We won't show you that picture, but this x-ray shows the medical marvel done in a forearm and hand this Army Ranger almost lost. If you can keep cool, I mean, that's the thing that they teach you, you know? He was able to put a tourniquet on, apply pressure. Plastic surgeons at the University of Kansas Hospital say Steve's Army survival training to stop bleeding saved his life. I met cut right across here. So they could save his limb. Let's take a look and see. Two years. Fist. Straight. Three tedious surgeries later. Pull your thumb up towards your head. <laughs> I know, right? Steve did not have to become an amputee. I feel hot and cold and tingly, like when your leg goes to sleep. Sensations he still uses for his woodworking. Don't give up. Give up. Keep trying. Finishing these cabinets and the basement. If I can help somebody else where this doesn't happen. Where he's still able to enjoy. You know, yay. Life. <laughs> Again, not easy to talk about, but Steve is sharing his stories to make sure that other people are safe, especially around power tools. Also saying to apply that direct pressure and get to the hospital immediately.